really often when I get new data, I run into exactly the same issue. And that is that I have one column in which the same item is written in different ways. And that's often because of typos or different ways of referring to that item. And what we're gonna do in this challenge is to see how we can fix this in the best way so that we just have one name for one item. If you're new to this channel and you want to improve in Power BI, then hit that subscribe button and participate in our weekly challenges that I introduced at the beginning of the week. And then at the end of the week, I will walk you through my solution of how I would do it. Now let's get started with round three. This week, we're gonna have a look at where we can find the best wine in the world. Now our data set contains different reviews from experts on different wines. Now, what I want to have is a map visualization that shows how many wineries we have in our data set for different locations so that we can click on a certain country, let's say. And then the matrix visualization that we have right next to it shows me the main provinces in that country so that I can further drill down into a certain region and it shows me all of the wine wineries in that region. Okay, and also what kind of score they got. And if I want to know the exact wine, I can drill further down to see the wines and from which year. All right, let's have a closer look at the data set. Now our data set contains 20,000 reviews from experts on different wines. So you see we have one column that contains all the names for the different wines. We also have the description, so the actual review and the number of points that this wine got. And then we also have information on the region. Now the region column, that is where it gets interesting because for some items, we have different names, okay? So you can already see that here on the first couple of rows that refer to the same region. However, it's written in different ways, okay? Sometimes small caps, upper caps, different order of the words. And what I wanna do is clean this up so that we have clear information on the province and the country. And then I can use those fields for my visualizations. Now to make this a little bit easier, I already created a second table that contains the province and the country. Now you might think, oh, that's gonna be easy because if we have the province here and then in the other table we have the region, you can just exactly map that, but there is no exact match. Now the challenge for this week is to figure out how we can map the region column from the main data set with the province and country information that we have in a second table. Now you're gonna use Power Query or maybe DAX formulas. I'm really curious to see your approach. Now all the details of how to participate and where you can get the data, how to share it, you find in the comment section below. If you like these challenges and you want to be notified when the solution gets uploaded, then hit that subscribe button. Now then the only thing left to say is good luck with this challenge and see you at the end of the week.